Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today we will talk about the 555 integrated circuit, which is the one that we see here at the center. This IC is a timer circuit, which means that can produce pulses of current. It has two modes of operation, the monostable mode that produces a single pulse of current and the stable mode, which we will talk about in this video, that produces a train of pulses, as we can see in the oscilloscope screen. This is the diagram of connection of the 555 timer in a stable mode. I am using it to turn on and off this LED and the characteristics of the pulses are controlled by this capacitor and these two resistors. The train of pulses is composed of a series of square waves. A full wave is composed by the pulse itself and then a period of inactivity. The duration of the pulse, T1, is given by this formula and the duration of inactivity is given by this other formula. As you can see, T1 depends on both resistors and the capacitance and T2 only depends on a single resistance and the capacitance of course and the height of the pulse is controlled by the applied voltage. Let's now see directly in the circuit and the oscilloscope how the train of pulses changes when we change these parameters. In the circuit I have two potentiometers to change the values of the resistance 1 and 2 and you can see the LED blinking. Let's move the first resistor and we can see that the rate of flashing is higher. So we can control moving the potentiometer. And also with the other we can also change the rate of flashing. So adjusting the two potentiometers we can have control over the on and off times of the LED. Let's now see it in the oscilloscope. Here it is, you can see the square wave in the oscilloscope screen and moving this potentiometer we change the form of the square wave and with the other we can also change the shape. So for example if we try to have a wave that has 50% on time and 50% downtime, we can adjust both potentiometers until we get the values that we are looking for. So for example, here you have half of the time is on and half of the time is off. So in this wave you can create the square wave that you need for your application. Okay, so this is the basic configuration for the 555 timer as an stable multi-vibrator. Of course there are hundreds of applications of this IC. And in the next videos, we will see some of them. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.